Hi guys, RC Racer here. Um, so today we've got um, just finally got some replacement parts for my ECX um, amp. So what happened was um, basically the ES, um, what is it? The ESC unit um, packed up and died. So um, was going through some. A video I was creating for Beach Run 2, which is on the YouTube channel, and at the end of it, it packed up. And what happened was it got water damage in the um, ESC and just died. So I tried everything. I tried the old trick of popping it into some rice in the airing cupboard and letting it dry, um, which kind of worked a bit better. But the end result was I turn on the um, the transmitter. Um, I'd turn it on and what would happen is the rear wheels would just continuously spin whether or not this was on um, you take the batteries out of this and they'd still just spin um, so basically what I did cheekily was um, I contacted the warranty department for them um, and then basically they sent me under warranty East uh, replacement um, ESC unit. Um, so now the, the problem is with these cars is um, let's just that thing. so the problem is is this is tied into this so if you want to use a third party replacement you have to replace the transmitter and the receiver and the speed controller and it's just an expense so a hundred odd quid the car's only like a hundred quid anyway so Got this under warranty. I'm hoping today that this works with this existing transmitter. Um, don't know if you can see here, but on the table, if I clear this up, I've also got a new cover set for the um, the gears. Uh, it got a bit. Um, uh, what happened was, and these parts aren't that great is the thread went on one of the nuts so you can see I've kind of savaged the um, the old one um, to get it off uh, and got a new one here um, so I'll be fitting that as well so coming back to the car um, or I should say truck um, let's make sure you can see everything um, let's zoom to the truck itself let's take the lid off move these spare bits out of the way so as you can see, I'm going to use this as a pointer. ECX, uh, ESC, sorry, came out of here. It just sticks down on these sticky blocks. Obviously, that's where the battery unit goes. Uh, that's the battery cover that I had out earlier. So, I need to pop this back into um, into position, really, and. I really am hoping this is all just going to work. So uh, that's why I haven't had any um, videos of my amp up on um, the YouTube channel for some time because I've been waiting. These parts came from Germany. I had to wait for them to be shipped. So as you can see, on/off switch um, ESC unit. Um, this connects up to the motor. Um, this is the aerial. I'm just hoping. All right, let's get a better view because I don't want to cut you guys out. So what we're going to do is we're going to let's go pop this in. Right, should be a quick fix, he says. Now let's pop that in. Now the original one went this way, and so I'm just going to just re-stick it down. Push down like so, the on off switch just went here. I'm just going to push that back down. So they're now in place. This is going to now have to reconnect um, to this. So that just pushes on. Ta da! Uh, that part's now in there. These two obviously go to the motor, so red to red. Um, black into black you kind of get it yeah I can get them pushed on without snapping them off one and 
to uh, this wire. Now I've got to remember where this wire came through. I'm sure it fed up through some sort of plastic tube up here, which I seem to have disconnected and God knows where it's gone. Um, so I think it followed along here and then up what was a plastic rod right there. Now, good old me, I think I have stuck it somewhere or maybe I've shipped it off with the um, with the other vehicle, so I'm not going to back around, I'll find that, so if you see here now this is a bit far out, so reconnected the connectors um, stuck everything else back down now what we're going to do is um, self-explanatory, I'll skip to this, as you can see I said I ripped it off, so this cover set will just go on the back um, get the scissors open it up this cover set will just go back onto the vehicle like so and I think what I'm going to do is hopefully I haven't got any batteries that's always a problem I'll grab some batteries quickly um, We're going to first of all, let's connect up the battery. I don't even know if this battery has any charge left in it, so let's just see if it explodes. <laughs> you see, so you can still see. Alright. Um, let's just see what it does. Um, if this is going to go skimming along the table. I might. Oh, let's just see what happens. It's going to go mental or not. Alright, three, two, one. Hope I've got life insurance. Alright. So the battery might be flat because it's been a bit. Let's lift the back wheels up in case it goes mental. Oh, we've got power. And a red light. So I probably need to bind it again to the transmitter. But I don't know if you can see that. There you go. We have some sort of activity. So now I'm going to stop recording and then it'll merge the videos together. I'm going to get that back case on um, onto here. And I will get some batteries in the transmitter and then well. Um, Right, so now I'm back with, um, fitted the back um, cap for the gearing, um, the casing unit, um, attached the battery, I've got some batteries in this, um, I couldn't find the original straw, so it's got a bit of plastic in there at the moment, holding the antenna up, so, um, yeah, I don't know where that went, you know when you say, oh, I'll put something safe and then you leave it there, um, and then that was months ago, now I don't know where it's gone, so, Let's turn it on and see if it works. Um, so, I'm going to switch this on again. Right, that's beeping. Now, nothing so far, so let's um, obviously turn it on. Put the light on here. See if the wheels turn. Nothing at the moment. So, you've got to work out if there's a way to bind these two together. Um, or if there's a button on the um, within the remote, or a, something I can do to rebind these two. Um, nothing happening on that. Um, let's turn this off again. This is now on. Let's turn this on. See if it tears. Nothing. Off on absolutely nothing. So great. 
<laughs> I'm hoping this is going to work because otherwise I don't know why they would have sent me a new unit if they knew it wouldn't work with the um, transmitter I've got. So I can't see a bind button um, anywhere on this. Um, let's see if there's, there's a tiny little button on here. I'm going to need like a paper clip for. So let me just grab a paper clip and we can. Right, we've got now a pin and I'm going to stick that into the receiver and power on the vehicle at the same time. Into the air. Uh, so here goes nothing. So let's say turn it off. Take that. You can use a body clip as well if you've got one. There's a little push in here. Push that in. Oh, it really doesn't feel like there's anything in here that you actually... Oh, it was here. Wrong place. Oh, come on. Right. Oh, here's a clip. Push that down. It's on the on-off switch. Then turn it on. Right. On. Flashing. Now it's made a beep. Hi guys, right, so I managed to get the um, ECX amp back together. Um, put the case cover back on. Giving it all a good tidy up. Um, Reattached sticky pads to put the ECX units in and the on off switch. Uh, batteries back in there. Um, power it up. So the wheels are now turning and um, it's uh, going forwards and obviously backwards. So yeah, it's all um, back up and running now. So I can pop the lid back on and uh, And uh, that's the ECX amp. Um, back up and running after seven months. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, speak to you guys later. RC Racer out.